Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is the five minute burst of FTL. It's all going horribly, horribly wrong. Our engines are on fire. Uh, one of our, our shield guys is dead. Everyone else is going in the repair bay, having had to deal with some, uh, bad guys. We've got no guns whatsoever. Um, yeah, so here you, and our, our, <laughs> and our, these are down, so I can't put the fire out. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a slightly less than five minute burst, because this will be us dying. Because I can't put that fire out. And now their borders are back. Well, at least he's in that room. I should be able to deal with him. I, I mean, it's, it's a petty victory, yes. There's not much we can really do about it. I am going to kill this guy, because it makes him feel a little bit better. He's going to die anyway, when our ship bursts into flames around him. Shield's nearly gone. Well, thanks for that. I mean, it's a lovely shot, but you hit nothing useful. I can appreciate it. I'm just kind of waiting now. Um, we're a minute into the recording. You'll pretty much know what's going to happen next. I'm going to die. There's no way I can get through the shields. And there goes the scrap gun. Bang. And thus ends Season 1, ladies and gentlemen, on Episode 14. Thank you very much for watching. So, one last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. So, let's have a look at our stats. Um, for the session records, you can see I've got, I've done quite well on easy. Notice the lots of easies. So I've done quite well on easy. Um, this is my yet another failed attempt for me to try and do this on medium. And as you can see, I'm not doing too well. So for this section, we managed to defeat 44 ships. That's not too bad. This is probably the furthest I've ever got. Um, no, it's for, I, have, I have got further, but I did quite well. Um, we just got completely ruined by their boarding party. It completely distracted me. Um, I wasn't paying nearly enough attention to where I should have been shooting at their ship. And then their ship killed me, not their boarding crew. Got uh, through 104 beacons, explored around 2,500 scrap, and hired 14 crew. Uh, is that most hired? There's the session records. All right, maybe we'll look at session stats. Yes, I've been looking at the wrong thing up here. Those are my records, so my stats. 14 ships, 52 beacons, 5 and 8 through scraps, and 7 crew hired. Final score, 1728. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to close this, and we're going to go back to the hangar. And we're going to spend the next two minutes and a half looking at the various other ships, so that when we start Season 2 of the 5-Minute Burst of FTL, we should be able to work out what it is we want to be doing. Um, so, this is the ship we tried last time, because I reckon the fact that you've got plenty of guns to start with does give you a little bit of an advantage. Now, early days it does, because you can pick those ships off, but these things are actually kind of slow-firing. Um... But overall, turned out, nope, not so good. What's the CU version of this gun? Ion, stunner, and dual lasers. Yeah, pretty good. And the problem we had was trying to get their shields down to the point whereby the halberd beam could kick in. So you end up end up waiting a lot. Um, list mode. Ah, oh, ship list. Hmm. Okay, fine. So we've got a ship list. So you can see the various victories I've got on easy with pretty much all of these. Easy, 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 easy. I've not won with the Lanius yet. Easy, easy, easy. Lots of easy. Um, hmm. Huh. Well, I own a lot of them. Okay. So where do we want to go next? Where do we want to go next? Um... I think I'm going to be honest with this. I'm going to click that one just random, and we're going to push the random ship button, and we're going to see what we end up with. The Stormwalker. So we've got the B-type slug ship. So we've got a heal beam for healing our own crew, and a missile launcher. Quite a fast-firing one, but a missile launcher nonetheless. We've also got a teleporter for getting on board people's ships and screwing them up. And we're slug people, so we immediately know where all of them are. Okay, and slug repair gel, so we automatically slowly fix any hull breaches. That means, like the last episode where we had a hull breach, we wouldn't necessarily have to wor 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 worry about it so much. It would fix itself. Not that it caused a problem. Not like that hole in the ship was the result of our death. The result of our primary death was me not paying attention. So, thank you very much for watching this slightly short... Uh, well, no, it's been five minutes. It's been mostly five minutes of me waffling and looking at things because we died really on in the episode. 
Thank you very much for watching this burst of FTL. I've been the Marmoset. Please remember to like and subscribe.